update, update. Okay, this is a crazy angle because I can't find my little thing that I put my phone on normally to make a video. So anyway, who cares? That's my air conditioner. Ta-da! So, the coolest, coolest thing happened. I went to this stamp store in town and I got some new stamps and I'm really excited. They're so cool. So I've got this idea that I've been talking about. I want to um, take a beehive pattern mat I found, I saw online, and then I'm going to do like, so here's one of the garden stakes, right? Nice and straight. Ooh, la la. So I'm going to take one of the garden stakes, I'm going to put it down, and then I'm going to stamp the stuff on top, and the back will be on top of a beehive pattern. I think it would look really cool. Check it out! Bam! So, I'll roll the clay out, and I'll put it on there, and then it'll have a beehive pattern for the top five inches. So, that's super freaking cool. So, that'll be double-sided, and I got... I got new stamps that Brian dug out of a bargain bin. He had to dig, 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 but he f did it. Good job, Bernito. Oh, I call Brian Bernito because we started doing Duolingo. So anyway, he calls me Janito and I call him Bernito. So anyway, uh, anyway, okay, so these are the patterns that I got. That's a little B. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little B. He's not focused very well. And I wanted something. Uh, oh, fun. I got the frog. And then that flower. And that little flower. So the backside will have a beehive pattern. I'll have different little accents to put at the top. And I wanted to do something beachy. And I found this beach themed stamp. So I'm going to do, I think, an ornament. Like a hanger. So those I'm really excited about. Uh, this was a set. And I'm not crazy about the giant fly. Um, this says she was a freaky little thing. I'm not crazy about that. And this is okay. Anyway, it's only got one E and B. And with the B, I think it should say B. But anyway, um, the butterfly is kind of cool. The bee is kind of cool. I think I could turn those into ornaments for the holidays. But this was the, uh, oh, that's a hard plastic backing. It just snapped. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, keep it. Oh, and they stick. Got it. Well, I'll rearrange these so that they fit on the hard plastic. <laughs> Fantastic. But I learned a lot about stamps at that store, and I saw stuff, and I'm really excited about it. So, that's what that has happened. That is the update, update. Okay, so then I've been making things. Um, remember, I made the little lightning bolt stamp. It ain't great, but it came out okay. I made a little spoon rest with the stamp. And then I took the embossed roller and I made a couple. That one didn't have his definition of a press, but it's okay. This one does. They can't all be the same. And there's another embossed one. And then that one says tea. And then I did a cup of tea. And I did just tea but then I also did tea time. tea time so those are those of painted it's purple and black I think it's cool anyway I'm so excited and so then I decided that um, I'm gonna do a little basket of ribbons for donations so I got this pink ribbon pin and I stamped it into some clay and colored it in. It came out pretty good. So I made so far three with some little scrap piece that I had after making a spoon rest. So I made these little ribbons. And I'm going to paint them. 
and seal them, sand them up, make them really smooth and nice. I think they need to be sturdier and thicker. So I'm going to double. That's a quarter inch. That may be eighth inch, actually. I think I rolled them thinner. So those are eighth inch, but I really think they need to be chunkier. I'm so low and out of clay, but Brian's going to get me another block of clay, and I can get about 30 garden stakes, and then probably about a dozen of the little ribbons, maybe 15. I don't know how many little ribbons I can get. I could get 32 to 34 garden stakes out of a block of clay. So if I just did 30, I might be able to get, I don't know, these don't take much. I don't know how much it'll come up to. I'll find out. Oh, so... I could use this as a gauge, so I could be like, a, there's be three less of these-ish. And so, yeah, maybe I'll do 28 garden stakes and do the rest in the ribbons, something like that. I'm going to try and get one more block of clay, and I still have this much and one inch width of, it's a four inch block, one by four inch will give me two spoon rests and... Uh, like an ornament or a couple of ribbons or something. So I did three ribbons and yeah, I did three ribbons and two spoon rests and that was the piece that was left over from a one inch by four inch piece of this block. So I'm learning how much I can get from a chunk of clay and then how much to calculate. It's also relevant for pricing all those things are going through my head, too. I don't think timing can be a factor because your time is your time. And I'm grateful for the hobby and the activity. But as far as pricing goes, I don't know. I don't know. But with the beehive pattern on the back and some of these funky cooler stamps at the top for variety and the better subgraded sealers that I've gotten slowly building and I've gotten fine-tuning my presentation... I think I'm scooting up towards 10 bucks for a garden stake. Some of them, I think, are 5 or 6 I don't know. So, I'm going to hand write instead of going and getting my signs printed. I'm going to hand write them uh, because it's my first event. And I don't think the literature or the information is going to stay the same. And I don't want to put even a penny into it. And then it involves going to the library to print for free. And I just don't know if I feel like doing that either. I don't know. Brian's at Winco shopping. He didn't take me with him. He didn't want me to go because I am a less conservative shopper and he wants our budget to make it. So I got vetoed, but I put in some requests and I don't even care because Mama Nancy got me some crumpets and life is good. As soon as we get to the park and plug in and have electricity, um, I'm toasting some crumpets. You know that much. My grandma used to get them for me and she always had them. And so... It's really freaking cool that she got me some. I'm excited. Woo! I'm super excited about the crumpets. Um, ramble, 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 ramble. That's what's going on with the clay. I set up Saturday and Saturday. I'm going to be in Blaine, Washington. Woo! On the border of Canada. I'm way up there. Up at the top. And I think we're going to stay up in this area um, in a longevity sense family everybody's here that's important and brian needed to process some things i think and we left for a little bit and we went and did camp posting and traveled but the people that we miss and want to be near are up here um and i was staying close to my son but he's really busy and it never really quite works out so um up here seems like a good idea and i'm fooling with my new stamps can't wait to go. Brian's got a little money uh, set aside, he said, to get me a block of clay. Yeah! And I guess that's it. I don't got much else to say. We were talking, our fridge is having a hard time. Our batteries, he's got to get a switch so that they'll charge. And we're getting a bunch of food. We went to the food bank and we're at Winco and uh, we don't want to lose our supplies. And so we can get a campground with electricity for half off uh, for like, I think $12. And so we're gonna do that for one night and then we're gonna check into Thousand Trails for two weeks. And then um, Saturday, I'm gonna make a bunch of money selling 
create clay creations, clay works. I don't know what to call them. And um, things will be easier. And this is kicking off my vending for the summer. And we're going to vend every weekend somewhere. We're going to do good. It's going to be an awesome second income. And Brian's going to set up his coins. He's a coin collector and a corn coin guy. And he's going to set that up. So this is going to be really interesting and really cool. We've got tables. we got chairs. we got inventory. And we got spirit. You can't beat that. Okay. Yeah. And, oh, and the best part is my friends Chris and Debbie. They're shooting north. And they're going to come jump at the park with us and camp. And we're going to begin more of our caravanning adventures. So, I have my Bessie. And it was going to be so awesome. And Brian's been talking about getting me a multi poo a Maltese poodle teacup multi poo I can't stand it oh we have already named him it's gonna be her it's chewy her name's gonna be chewy and so um maybe I don't know I hope so I don't want to put too much stock into it I don't want to be too excited about it but oh can you imagine a little puppy oh I just don't even know how cute that could be. Uh, I do know. Oh my goodness. A little puppy. Oh. I want a little puppy. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, puppies. Puppies. That's it. I love you guys. And thanks for watching.